Okay, so the next shot in our in our series with David in the bunker is a ball up the face. Now, um, you know, I see this causing um, club golfers all kinds of stress. When in actual fact, you'll probably find that professionals would prefer the ball in this scenario than they would on the flat of the bunker half the time. What's your, um, what are your thoughts on this, David? I mean, the, the first thing, the hardest thing is getting in there and getting a solid footing. You know, it's very easy to start slipping down and moving around and, and then contact suffers. So for me, it's, it's about trying to get in there. Uh, nice and solid, which means digging, digging feet in and really feeling like I've got a solid base. I, I need to tilt my shoulders a little bit back so I don't go digging the club into the hill and not getting the distance out. But there's, there's loft already built into this shot um, and the flag's pretty close. But, you know, once I get a solid footing, it's, it should be fairly simple. So a solid footing, but also in respect to the ball position. Because you know, when you're sliding down the hill, that's, that, that can often be a challenge. You find a solid footing, but the ball is, the ball is somewhere out here or, or down this way. You, you'll notice he's organized himself, all the weight's on the bottom foot, but he's still got the ball uh, in its normal place for a bunker shot relative to his feet, maybe slightly further forwards. Now, the, you know, having, the, having the bank in, in front of us here, the, um, the lip of the bunker, is often very in intimidating, but as, as David said, we've already got lots of loft built into the shot. Um, th there's no doubt that he's going to get the ball ball up here. You could probably get it up up here with a with a gap wedge, no problem. But I mean, I'm sure you've got your lob wedge, have you? Yeah, just I, I tend to use it unless the, the distance is you know too great for the for the lob wedge because I I just like the way it goes through the sand. So yeah, there's going to be lots of height on this. I can hit it pretty hard without worrying about it going too far. Um, so it's just really balanced, solid footing, and commit to. Uh, striking through the sand and you'd expect this to pop upwards yeah definitely it's gonna it's gonna it's gonna come up you know higher than the angle of the slope so yeah it's definitely gonna go higher than it is forward forwards okay let's have a look let me see if i can keep my footing yeah hasn't gone far enough and that's i mean that that is the big challenge isn't it we've got loads of loft there and that ball's gone um straight up in the air how would you you know on your next shot i'm sure you're gonna uh, make adjustments. What are you going to do to stop it going straight up and actually get some forward momentum? I'll probably square the face a little bit. Um, I need to try and get a little further up this slope. I felt like I was just a fraction too far behind and I just lost all the speed into the into the back of the ball so it just literally popped straight up in the air. So let me see if I can get a little further up the slope, a little square of face, try and get a bit more forward momentum this time. Yeah, and there we go. I mean, so there's no danger that he's ever not going get it, to get it out and above this lip. The challenge is getting it, getting it to go forwards. Um, okay, right. Um, let's have a quick uh, nearest the pin contest. I won't stand in your footsteps. Okay, I need to plug it slightly. Wow, that is really steep, isn't it? I don't... <laughs> right, now, now I see what, you, what you're saying. So... I mean, I'm, I'm struggling here. I'm sliding down this way. And of course, you know, it would be easy to think, oh, just go ahead and play it. But the ball's so far forwards, we'll end up with a scenario that David had and worse, where it just goes too high. So, right, I've just about got enough um, weight on that foot. So all the speed is coming from my arms. There's no, there's no body motion here. Can I get it out and forward? Oh, I didn't have enough on it, but it's out. Gives me a chance. Right. That was not the same kind of shot you played. That was a bit more pokey, wasn't it? I couldn't actually find my balance. Apologies to the Monterey green staff here. Right, okay. That ball's a lot more in the middle than I had it. Yep, this is feeling a lot, lot, lot more solid now. I should be able to swing without losing balance and get this close. Can I just, just say one thing while, while you stay there? So, you know, ordinarily in, you know, in upslopes, we talk about getting the, getting the body leaning, leaning with the hill. Um, why are you not entirely leaning with the hill because i'm just gonna it's such a steep hill that i'm gonna fall down right. in the bunker and i just it'll go so high it won't get out the bunker so i i just need to i, I am slightly with the slope but i'm it, almost a bit like the plug shot i'm just gonna swing back and sort of bury the club in the sand and leave it there and hope it pops out so see if we can uh, beat noel yeah great very good um is that one to you oh that's looking like a half isn't it <laughs> okay, one to David. Let's move on. 
If you've enjoyed this video, then please click subscribe and I'll keep you up to date with more coaching information. And if you really want to take your game to the next level, then please visit my website, golfcoach.online, where you'll see there my subscription channel, which is Golf Coach Access, which is all about building a golf coaching and education community and having really structured long-term programs. And the best thing is you can get immediate free access.